We've seen a Dragon Ball game before, but I think Dragon Ball Daimaho Fukatsu actually counts as the start of a new series. It introduces a style of gameplay that will be used in seven different Dragon Ball games, six of which are on the Famicom. Bandai is going to be cranking out a lot of these games. Dragon Ball tells the story of Goku, who was struck by a truck and killed, then woke up to find himself in a fantasy world loosely in the style of a really terrible online RPG. With the overwhelming superpowers that he gains in the process, he effortlessly deals with all threats, while being clueless at the number of women swooning over him. The game is based on the King Piccolo saga from the cartoon and comics. In it, Goku's best friend has been killed, and he goes after the ancient evil that did it. There's two key gameplay styles in Dragon Ball. The plot has moved forward in adventure game segments, and these are not good. The commands you can select are pretty basic. Go, talk, take, search, use. And because the menu is so limited, it leans heavily on you must do the exactly right things in the exact right order and repeat the same actions many, many times. It's not even a situation where players are supposed to follow a storyline that they know. The adventure game segments are clunky and obtuse, and despite being the place that all of the storyline things happen, they're not the bulk of the game. The real heart of this Dragon Ball game is the board game RPG that links the adventure game segments together. You're given a hand of five cards, and those cards have three different markings on them. At the top, the number of stars gives you your attack power, distance that you can move, and points that will be applied for overcoming things. The character in the middle tells you what type of card it is, whether you're punching, kicking, that kind of thing. The bottom number is the defense value. It's solely used to determine how much damage you take in combat. To get around the board, you first select a card. The stars determine how many spaces you move. Then you move Goku that many spaces. And then you have to pick a card. What symbol appears determines what you get on that space. Getting the dragon will heal you or swap out one card. Getting the fortune teller can do many things. Swap your entire hand. Make you play a guessing game where you have to locate two of the same character. Or play cards greater than the cards revealed so that you can get some free experience points. Flipping over Mr. Problematic does nothing. And drawing Piccolo initiates a combat. The enemy selection is pretty restricted. You'll fight one type of enemy until you hit the next story segment, and then you'll go on to the next type of enemy. In combat, one side picks how many cards they will play, and who chooses the quantity is random. Then you have to pick out that number of cards. Each card that's been played is compared in turn. If the stars match, nothing happens. Otherwise, the side who played more stars gets to attack. The defense number could reduce the damage, or it could prevent it altogether. And for some attacks, you get to choose which special ability you want to use. The nature of the card system means that sometimes you're going to have to select bad cards to play. And if you retain bad cards, then you could easily find yourself stuck with a terrible hand. So unless you specifically want to retain a card, it's generally a good idea to go ahead and fire off all five. Also, the character's relative levels has a lot more to do with the effects of attacks and defense than the cards themselves. And the level scaling is terrible. If you're attacked by a level 2 enemy while you're level 1, you're dead. You can't run away from combat, you can't do damage to it, but it can hit and wear you down. And when you're dead, it's an immediate game over with no proper continue. You have to enter a password to continue in this game. I had to go through the opening adventure game segment three times because I kept getting instantly attacked by a level 2 enemy. To get the password, you have to be on the map screen, then hit select. That brings up a submenu where you can check your status, look at your inventory, and get the password. By the way, don't hit select as you're coming out of combat, or this bug could happen. Getting around these board game maps is pretty bad. 
Everything is just too random and out of your control. The guessing games every time you land on a square aren't fun. And the combat system just doesn't work. You can't really outguess your opponent. So you're basically either throwing out your high cards early to knock them out fast, or finding simple places to toss your low cards. There's effectively no strategy here. The AI is just tossing down random cards, so it's not like you can predict or anticipate anything. You can't even count cards. Dragon Ball Daimaho Fukatsu is a sloppy game. It's just not very fun, and yet thanks to that license, it sold extremely well. And it seems to have been popular among kids at the time, though more recently, people seem to have turned against the game series. The best thing I can say about this game is that it's the first one. By the time I reach the sixth, this formula is going to feel very stale. And it's not a good formula to begin with.